long you're gonna make me wait. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself, and that from afar and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned, and I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid, nocturnal. Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then bore and vanished. Merrick and Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. 
camp stands deserted and the peat there. Master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily. Good for fuel and... Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help. For a fee. Of course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. All right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware, bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard ye could choke. Get here. Fog this. The odor. <coughs> Metallic almost. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. is decomposed almost completely. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion.
illusion.
Any tidings? Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it, and fare you well. went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. 
Cook's a stupid killer. You shouldn't have ate the pub. Now we're light a fire. Gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You could see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, I them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay, <laughs> I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gran's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, naught but tales. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone!
can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? Oh, I want something sweet. And me too! Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Don't have any treats. Well, here's what you can do. Go get some, play hide and seek with us, or get lost. Let's play. You hide. But if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. It means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. How'd you find me? See you.
There you are. Found me. left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage? No, we'll talk about your promise. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? scared to talk. We're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me. Said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mum... It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. What are you on about? Who said us? Eh? Ugly word, ugly. Go. Johnny's real. He 
must leave Prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything, from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess.
miss the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Ah, the bottle from the nest. Already got it. Here. A pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen, but remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me.
throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You. It got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran. But this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. It is not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? So you're the three crones? <laughs> Village bitches have been gossiping again. There's no limit to how jealous and petty humans can be. Do we look like crones to you? Go ahead, check. Touch me, white-haired one. Where it pleases you most. Is this a curse? You trapped in the tapestry? Oh, he's curious. We don't fall victim to curses. We cast them. <laughs> I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That 
was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Downwarren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger! And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right! On me way! Dagger! Gotta bring the dagger! The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off.
When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. I thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Need more details? You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Milk, freshly curdled milk. Eggs straight from the coop, nary a trace of shit on them. Show me what you sell.
like that silver. Show yourself. I want to talk.
orphans. I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Really, please. I can be a girl. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? sure what was lurking there, but it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it, you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? 
Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, Master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. What did you need the children for? We need? We? They needed us? Our care. Where are they? They are far away. Their troubles are over. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The 
The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Someone's we let beast and trails show the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame.
with the elder blood. <laughs> he follows you. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Oh, blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the good <laughs> will die, we shall be seeing you, handsome knight.
Take it easy. Get up. Went to the forest for dress yesterday. Tell me. What? Another one. Whoa! Village has suffered enough. Maybe I should something. Ye death, be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witches coming from? Where? I'll tell you where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Awfully noble of him. Thought so too, at first. Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left, and here the door swung shut behind him. Me last started wailing. What's these tears, I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. He's really a witcher. You don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of yous and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Ah! 